Sensei Benny, thank you very much for doing this. How are you? Well, if it gets any better than this, it gets scary. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, my show, The Art of Action, is all about what it takes to create action on film. So normally I start off by asking whoever I'm talking to to tell me what their martial arts background is. But yours is so illustrious and you've won so many world titles that I, I feel like we'll, we'll be hit. We wouldn't have enough time for the action if we, if we go into it too much. But I agree. I think, what, what is briefly your martial arts background? Well, I have nine black belts and nine different systems. My, there, I come from a family of fighters. There's nine black belts in my family. My mother was a professional uh, wrestler. My father was a professional boxer. For entertainment, we kind of beat up each other. Yes. <laughs> I started, actually, my first fight was in 58. My, I started judo. I was doing boxing, uh, Pee Wee uh, boxing in 58. And then in 68, I started working on judo. And I started competing in judo because boxing and judo was very popular in the 50s and 60s. And then in 63, I started Kimpo Karate. And my first instructor was Bill Rizaki. And my brother, oldest brother, Arnold, he was studying and he was already a black belt shodan underneath Bill Rizaki. Uh, probably in uh, 64 is when the first international started. And that's when I saw Bruce Lee. And he okay. was doing, he was doing a demonstration about internal power, internal training. And my mother used, my mother is American Indian and my father's from Spain. And my, my mother used to talk about this internal power, which I never understood what she was saying until I saw Bruce Lee talking about the four finger punch. So he had this guy, 250 pounds, holding a metal plate on his chest and he had his fingers on this plate. And he was talking about generating this power. And so I'm actually four feet away, cross legs, sitting down, watching and listening to him. And he hit this metal plate. He went, ooh, and hit this metal plate from four inches from here to here. He went flying back four feet into a chair, over the chair. I jumped up. I said, I want to do that. Yeah. So from that point on, I asked my brother, Arnold, which is my oldest brother, I asked him, I said, can I spar with him? With, with Bruce Lee, I would say, can I spar with him? <laughs> and my brother said, I don't, have, I don't have experience. Benny, how old were you when you saw, was this Bruce Lee at the Long Beach tournament? Yes, or, that's right. Exactly. How old were you then? I probably maybe was 14, 13. Okay. Somewhere around there. But yeah. I was just so inspired to want to, you know, spar with them that I went and I beat every tournament there was in the United States. I went traveling. I beat everything there was to beat. And I came back and said, now can I spar with them? And he said, you don't have enough experience. So they were having, they were having this, uh, uh, they were putting a team together. I was pressing a team together oh, to yeah. go to Europe. So I went and I destroyed everybody there was just so I could go on there. And there was this one guy named Lemons and he was, everybody was saying, who's going to fight him? And I said, I'll fight him. And they, they all looked at me like, you're going to fight. This is the best guy that they have in Lemons. And I said, yeah, I'll fight him. This was in Belgium. And first I, I went out there, I kicked him in the thighs. I kicked, and I, there was not, you know, there was not even thigh kicking at the time, but I kicked him in the thigh and I went after him. He went down. Yeah. And I didn't want it to end, so I went out there and rubbed his legs. I was rubbing his legs because I didn't want it to end. And everybody started laughing, but I didn't even think about that. I just didn't want it to end. Anyway, <laughs> I, ended, I, ended, I ended up beating him. Yeah. And uh, I, like, I like to be in the air. That's why they call me Jin. I like jumping in the air, doing jump spinning back kicks. Yeah, yeah. I was, oh, I was the doing the, kick, the, the The Benny the Jet back kick is the <laughs> finest back kick you, you will ever see. I have to tell you, Sensei Benny, I spend hours just watching your fights on YouTube, uh, just waiting for that back kick to come and destroy people. It's incredible. <laughs> Thank you. It's, um, well, actually, it's my signature anyway. Yeah, so, I mean, no, nobody pulled it off as, as often and, and as well as you did, I would say. Yeah. You dropped, dropped many people with the back kick. 
Ah, without a doubt. Yeah. Uh, matter, and so, a matter of fact, even with my family, they were saying, don't throw a back kick on me. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and, I, uh, I think I've got a pretty good b uh, back kick, Sensei Benny. I would ah, love beautiful. you to see my back kick one day. Not to do it on you, but just on the bag, maybe you could give me some pointers. But I think yeah. it's pretty good. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, that's, that's the beginning of anything. Because, again, 80% of it is mental in the iron concept of what you tell yourself. 20% is physical. And 99.9.9% .9 of the rest of that is internal, which is emotional, is what everybody hides until you're threatened. When you're threatened, everything you hide under your bed in your closet comes forward. And um, yeah. this is what I base my system on, on uh, Yukito Khan, which means a way of life. And that's what I base my system on, of way of life. So the Wheels on Meals fight scene with Jackie Chan, I think is widely regarded as one of the best fight scenes ever made. Uh, I appreciate yeah. that one. <laughs> Normally on everyone's top list, at least in the top three. You know, when I went to uh, Hong Kong, uh, Jackie, I mean, Jackie already actually was looking at me and wanted a reality Okay, because in Hong Kong, you know, as you know, the fight is almost like a dance move. One and two and three and four. And, and, and Jackie, for some reason, didn't want to go there. So he looked at me as a fighter and saw my technique. And he didn't speak English. Speak English, yeah. So, yeah, so he was telling his interpreter that he wanted to see what I can do with his own eyes, okay? So, so he had one of his stunt guys hold the bag, you know, a, a, a power shield and said, and told his interpreter to tell me, how hard can I kick it? So I, I told him, how hard do you want me to kick it? Yeah. And so he told his stunt guy, kick it hard. So I did a spinning back kick. I kicked spinning this back guy. kick, I knew it would be the spinning back kick. I, I, kicked, I kicked him so hard, he went flying knocked his air out through the power shield and um was this Samo or or not yet both of them they were both, both yes them, yeah. Sam, both of them were watching me is, is it because they'd heard about this guy that had gone over to japan and defeated the uh the kickboxers in japan is that how you were introduced to, to jackie chan that's right that's, that's matter right, of fact yeah. that was shown in japan every in, throughout the orient and he yeah. Hey, Jackie is a thinker. He, you can see him always sitting down and his mind is going. He's thinking. He wanted something different in, the, in, his, in his movies than normal of what he usually does. And he wanted to do something different. He had about maybe 25 stunt guys. And he, and he was, uh, so he asked if I can actually do, you know, uh, picture fighting and so forth. And, and his interpreter told me, and I said, well, I do Western style of picture fighting. Okay? So I said, yes, I can. So he did some technique and he pointed like, your turn. So I did the same technique. I mimicked him and did it. And he said, oh, okay. What, and then what was, he, it? was it a difficult technique or was it a basic? Yeah, no, or? no. He doesn't do anything basic. Yeah, okay? that's what I was thinking. He doesn't yeah. do anything basic. Everything he wants to do is see what I can do. So, yeah. so the next day, yeah. Exactly. So the next step, there was an aisle three feet wide. And he went round up, flip, flop, flip, flop, flip, flop, all the way down to the end. And then when he got to the end, he went like this. <laughs> so I looked at him. I said, OK. So I went round up, flip, flop, flip, flop, flip, flop. And I ended up crashing in the walls. And I, I got up and I said, hey, I'm not a gymnast. Eh? I'm, you know, but I said, I can do it. But that's not what I am. And yeah. he looked at me and he go, he go, put thumbs up. So then he, you know, he continued testing me. And I'm looking at him. And so I said, okay. So I did some stuff. And I point to him. Let me see you do it. <laughs> and I did, I, you know, I did a jump spinning wheel kick, drop spinning wheel kick, dragon sweep, oh, yeah. roll, jumped up, ball kick. And he looked at me and he gave me thumbs up. 
And then from there, he did not test me anymore. I mean, from the things that I've read and I've heard about this whole experience, it seems like it was very competitive between the two of you. I mean, you, you were obviously a very competitive person. Was it? I know that he was teasing you about he wanted to fight. So I saw him sit down with his arms crossed looking at me, just checking me out, looking at me. He's, he told his interpreter that he wants to fight me. And so his interpreter said, looked at Jackie, and they looked at me and said, didn't know how to say it to me. He, like, he was confused. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the interpreter was like, did you really just say that? Yeah, so the interpreter says, Jackie said that he wants to fight you. And I smiled and I said, he knows I'm a professional fighter. That's, yeah. I'm a champion. That's what I do for a living. Yeah. And he, he told Jackie, and Jackie looked at me, shook his head, and he put his thumbs up and then continued saying, we're going to fight. And I looked at Jackie. I said, Jackie, if that's what you want, anytime you want, I said, would you like to do it now? And Jackie said, no. So it went on the set that Jackie was going to fight me. All the Chinese are betting now. <laughs> They're oh, all betting uh, on who's going to win the fight. And yeah. uh, they must have, so, There must have been a fair bit of money on you. Well, let's put it this way. A lot of people put money on Jackie because his ability to catch on things. Would he show you what he would have a, another stuntman playing your part and he would say, okay, I'm going to do this. And he would watch what the other stunt guy did. And then would you say, well, how about if you do that, but I do this, and you would change the choreography that way. Basically, he didn't do that. All he did is after he, they did the fight, the fight scene that he was going to do, that yeah. he wouldn't want to do this, he would point, what are you going to do? In other words, he didn't, he didn't actually choreograph for me. He just right. said, what, what are you going to so do? He's showing his moves, and he's just right. saying to you, how are you going to deal with these moves? Exactly. Okay. So I came up there and said, okay, you do that. I'm going to do this. Okay. I went boom, 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 boom. Then he looked at me, and all his guys will be watching, and they will huddle while I'll be said, this is what I'm going to do. We did the scene, and we had it down. And for some reason, I went boom, 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 and he was supposed to go to the left, but he went to the right, and I stopped right in his face. Oh. I was two inches from his face. I stopped, and he looked at me, and he, he goes, you. he said, he just put his hands and prayed, like, thank you so yeah. much. He, so he, he felt knew. safe, and so he yeah. said, go hard, because he right. felt safe. But I never hit him in the face, but I did hit him in the body, because he had no problem hitting me in the face with these uh, golf gloves on. Yeah. Did you know in between the scenes, I had to put ice on my face because it was well, I mean, he, he actually hit me for real because he figured I'm a professional fighter. Well, I can did, take did it. Did they ask your permission to hit you for real or did he just hit you for real? He, you know what? He said he wanted, he wanted to real, but only on his face. They were telling me, you know, <clears throat> Jackie. And I said, well, he, he has no problem hitting me in my face. Yeah, and and I, so, but when I hit him to the body, I mean, I hit him to the body. But one time I kicked him, he went down, and everybody was mad at me because I knocked his hair out. Yeah, and he had pad on, so he get up again. We and he and he go and no one. So he puts pad on, and he said, "Okay." And I said, "I won't kick you as hard." And his interpreter told him, and he said, "No, kick me. I got pad on." Kicked him again. Boom! Dropped him. Took his wind out of him with the pad on, and. Wow. And, and they were getting mad at me. He kept telling and I, you to kick him, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was saying, go, go for yeah. it. And he put Pat on. I said, well, he's got Pat on. Okay, he's telling me. So I went. And um, I dropped him many times. And But, you know, he kept getting up and getting him back and said, okay, let's go again. I love his heart. This is why it's one of the best fight scenes ever shot, because you can see that it's, it seems like you're both really trying to hit each other. So you can see that competitiveness between both of you in the fight. And, and I think it, that's what takes it up another level. Now, the candles. Did you actually blow the candles out with your foot? 
the, I did the first yeah. time. They didn't think I can do it. Bam. And then what happened real. is, well, that's it. But they didn't think I can do that. But when I spun, I spun so hard, I was two inches away from the camera. I mean, the candle. And then after that, I, I tried to do it again. And I pulled something from tr over trying right in my hamstring. I pulled oh. a little hamstring. So I did it again. And I, and I just looked at him. I said, I, you know what? If I do it any harder, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tear something. I'm going to pop something. Yeah. So then they said, okay, we'll, we'll help you on the second take. So they changed the cameras. And they helped me on the second take because by then the first one, I mean, my drilling was pumping. I was, I yeah. was going so hard at everything that I, you know, we, we didn't hold back. And so I, I, like here, you're, you're making contact with him, but what always strikes me is that's a very close to his head, that kick. I mean, it's, it's so precise and inch perfect. Yes. Uh, I was actually, he, his timing was impeccable. His timing was very good. But when I went to the went to the face, I knew I could because he can block and slip. I knew he was able to have good timing on that. But in this part, we couldn't wear no pads. You can see. Yeah. We had no pads on because everything was close to the body and stuff like that. So we had no pads on and we were just going at it. And well, I can see that you've gone easy on him here, uh, Benny. Well, I can say, yeah. Benny, you're kicking him with the toe and not the heel, so you've gone easy That's, on him. <laughs> well, well, you know what? The, the point was, again, last time I, I dropped him with pads on, and we didn't have no pads on. So, uh, I mean, I was hitting him hard, but I wasn't using my heel. Uh, yes. Otherwise, I would have probably broke ribs. Exactly, and, uh, yeah, he, especially with your back kick. So I was spinning and doing... Um, especially my spinning back kick, I would point, use the ball of my foot and just kind of hit. So he knew that I did hit him. And don't, don't think it was easy. I, I mean, he felt every bit of it with the ball of my foot. What I've noticed about Jackie Chan is when he directs himself, his fight sequences and action sequences, they're normally more stunt based and acrobatic based. But right. whenever he works with Sammo Hung, I think uh, Jackie's best fight scenes are when he's directed by Samo. Was Samo more in charge of the choreography or was it both of them doing it or who, who was really in charge actually, of the choreography? Actually, Samo was behind the camera doing directing and stuff like that. Yeah. And, and uh, Jackie, he was more the stunt coordinator, the, the fight, fight choreographer between him and I. Yeah. He was, so he was more in front of the camera directing, I mean, uh, uh, doing the choreography on it with me and Samuel was more behind the camera making sure of the shots you know that we because yeah. uh, Samuel Hong I tell you what he's got such a great eye yeah. and I think he I mean uh, an incredible director but he's got a good eye when it comes to setting cameras up for certain things well, maybe Jackie, then thinking about it I think that it's you that brought this side out of Jackie then because both times he worked with you he was, it was Samo directing, so that's what made me think that. But maybe it's the, the fact that he's fighting you, it's brought out more of a martial arts, a pure martial arts fighting style than he normally shows. When I do something, the reality of it is because, first of all, I come from the streets. I know what it feels like to be in the streets emotionally, mentally, physically. You know, I've been shot at, I've been stabbed. Believe me, I know what it feels like to have emotion behind it, what it feels like to be in the streets. You know, as you know, the, with the camera, the eyes tell the truth. Whether you're happy, glad, mad, sad, the eyes tell the truth where you're at. So I went out there and made it the reality and I took the streets in front of a camera. Because it's some, something about this fight, it's just got such an intensity to it. Well, you know, the fight right there, you, you're talking about, again, my eyes, when I connect to somebody, I don't connect at a body. I connect and I, I reach in deep. Um, this looks like a hard hit. Was that oh, a hard yeah. hit? Oh, let me tell you, put it this way. Jackie does not hold back. Jackie knows he can hit me because he saw me. He saw me fight for real. So he knows I can take the impact. So he had no problem throwing, you know? He had no yeah. problem throwing it whatsoever. It hit you in the head, but you can't hit him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? 
That's, that's uh, show business, right? How long did it take to shoot this fight scene, Sensei Benny? We, uh, we had a lot of practice in Spain. I was, I was gaining a lot of weight to look bigger. I'm not that tall, so I had to look bigger. So I started gaining as much as weight as I can to really make a threat, make my aura much bigger than I am. Remember how many days you spent shooting this fight? So it took us uh, a day and a half just looking at everything. Oh, really? We, yeah, just we were thinking. just looking. Yeah. yeah, we were just looking at, in other words, to see what can we use as props without bringing props in? What can we use? Yeah. In other words, stairs, you know, furniture, um, yeah. no matter what it was, I said, what, you know, so I'm thinking, he's thinking. What can we actually use in here that we don't, you know, we don't have to That's actually... That's the Hong Kong way, it. just take it in and be That's organic it. and, you know, exactly. they can use on the set. Yeah, because, you know, right here, if this was all about timing, you can wow. see the timing that we had and he so was an egg. Now, now, that one there, he hit me so hard, I had to put ice on Ooh. right here, right? Yeah. Boom! See, you can see, man, that's... <laughs> that was, uh, I mean, when he hit me, Man, he hit me with those gloves on right there. My face wall, I had to put ice on it just to get it back down again. So, but yeah, it was, um, and that's when you start feeling these oats. So, is this freestyle? Did you know what punches he was going to throw? Or is no, he... no, oh, that's a proper one there, isn't it? No, no, oh, man. I mean, we, we, it, right there, he was throwing and he knew. I mean, I mean, everything he threw on there, it was you can see those gloves on, there was nothing pulled back. I mean, he was uh, strong. He he was so into it. He was yeah. so into that he he lost himself, and I lost myself in that fight. When he hit me with that knee, uh, it's a, and I and I couldn't put a mouthpiece on, so I had to get white toilet paper and put it in my my mouth just to bite down on it because I couldn't put a mouthpiece on because it was the camera was right there. Was that paper. Jackie's knee? Was it actually him doing it, or was it one? Oh of the yeah! Stars? Oh no no. Yeah. He didn't want anybody. <laughs> Especially for the final knee to the jaw. He, he wanted he to want, do it himself. No, you know what? He didn't use any of his, uh, his stunt guys. That is him at his peak, really. And, and yourself as well, I'm sure. That is peak yeah. Jackie Chan. You see me go out that window in the castle? Yeah. They put a rope on my ankle and they had five ch uh, Chinese on the other side holding me. And I said, no, 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 no. I said, you know how far that is? Yeah. yeah. I said, he's going to kick me. I'm going out that window. I said, there's no way you, those four, you know, Chinese guys are going to hold me. I said, I want you to get a wire, put it up my pant leg, put a harness on my, on my waist, and then I'll go out that window. And he said, no, no, it'll take too long. I said, I don't care. I, I'm not going out that window. You would, you tie my, my ankle you know, one of my ankles, and they're holding it. I said, it's not going to happen. Right there. I Did said, you actually smash through the glass, Sensei? Of course. Yeah, Everything. Wow. They, they don't do anything. They don't do anything. Uh, he wanted this to be as real as possible. Yeah. And so that was very trusting of you to uh, let them hang you out the window after, after you'd been... No, uh, no. I, only <laughs> because I had a wire connected, you know, to the wall and stuff like that. And I said, okay. I said, I will, I said, I will have no problem going out that window. And when he hit me, I flew through that window. I mean, and, and I felt the jerk because the wire stopped me. And then I slammed on that wall, boom, my head. I said, oh, and all of a sudden I said, I had no problem uh, making, um, you know, acting to think it was hurt. I said, man, that was real. How many years was it um, in between Wheels on Meals and, and Dragons Forever? I think it was about uh, two or three years, two or three years right behind it. And did you get the call just out of the blue or had you stayed in touch with uh, Samo? And... Yeah, they, I mean, they would, they would uh, keep, in, keep in touch with me and stuff like that. But uh, um, there's, they were saying that they were writing something. And uh, if I was interested, I said, sure. You know, they wanted me to come back. And so I said, absolutely. I said, 
I loved the first time. I said, I love it the second time. <laughs> and you got to play a drug dealer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's these little moments like this that really make a, a fight scene. It's not all about the choreography and the punches. It's those moments no. with the tie and everything. You've got to remember the connection of energy. What makes it, it speaks for itself. The eyes tell the truth. Whether you're happy, glad, mad, sad, the eyes tell the truth. And so those moments, the eyes tell what, you know, what you're feeling, the body movement tells your experience, eh? and the action speaks for itself. So, you know, the eyes right there, we were talking to each other with our eyes. And the facial expression was telling how we were feeling, like, you know? Yeah. So. It's the faints and everything that make it very real. Yeah. Oh, now, I have, that's amazing what Jackie Chan does there. It's so quick. Yes. I mean, his, his, so his timing, his timing, you know, his timing was uh, impeccable. I mean, and so that's what he liked about me. Uh, my timing, my timing is impeccable as well. I knew I can throw and, and not make it go slow with it and make it look fake. I knew I can throw and I knew he was able, from the first time, I knew I was able to throw. And he knew that he can throw. He had no problem throwing at me. Yeah. Did you uh, work to a rhythm or it's just something that an unspoken rule? He, he no. never would say the rhythm like the rhythm is bap, 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 da, 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 da. No, no he, he knew that up. with me. He knew that with me. I don't go that way. You know? Yeah. I'm not he one to go. It. That's it. It was about, I, he knew I can connect to him and not have, you know, not have to uh, go through a, a, a beat of one and two and three and four. I didn't have, you know, it was, I was just going off his energy. What did you think about performing that little bit of a funny bit there? Well, you know what? Because again, that, that wasn't planned. None of that, none of that was planned. It was just like- did that come so because it was really I, hurting his wrist? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do you remember how many days you shot this fight for? I think this was uh, three days. Three days, okay. Well, that's yeah, we really pretty good going for three days. Yeah. It's a long fight. But he had no, and you know what? He actually took some of my hair off, I <laughs> think, you know? <laughs> but uh, we, he, he just wanted the realness of it. And, and he knew he could do that with me. And I had no problem with it whatsoever. But this was, uh, I had a lot of fun in this because by then we already knew each other, eh? And we would be on the set. I mean, he hit me with that shin so hard, right in my chest, man. I mean, he had no problem with the, he had no problem with any of it. Was that a foot on a, was that the shoe on somebody's hand gag here? Uh, yeah, this one here. world champion many times over, held the title over and over and over again. But how does it feel to know that you're in one of the greatest fight sequences ever made on top of all that? Another, it was another title bout. It's another title, isn't it? It's another it strap. Another, that's it, that's it. Yeah. And uh, I loved it because I loved the way Jackie and Samuel Hong, I loved their hearts and their team, their beautiful team, you know? And, um, and, I, and I had to win over their trust because every, in the beginning when I was kicking uh, Jackie hard and I would drop his and take his win from him and so forth, they were so upset at me. And finally, they, I won their trust and they realized that I wasn't really trying to hurt them. It was just the intensity of energy that Jackie was trying to bring forward. The reality, the reality of it. And so they realized, because Jackie would tell them, that that's what he was. That's what he wanted. He wanted the reality and change the way people fight on camera. His team are probably trying to protect him from himself, okay. asking you to hit him harder. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. And even though he put pad on, he was saying it's okay. You can hit me. You can, you know. And and I, and I and I, and I can feel all the stunt guys. <laughs> I can feel the rise on me. Like okay, he's got pad on, but still. It shows, it shows from both sides, it really does. It's incredible fight, <laughs> both of them, just incredible stuff. Um, amazing, uh, 
it's going to be hard for somebody to do anything better than that. Um, and of course, in the eighties, it was a different time, and you know, oh, yeah. things were done a bit differently then, anyway. Um, well, you get away yeah, with yeah. more. Fights in Roadhouse are ahead of their time. They are absolutely brilliant and they hold up to this day. Now, what I want to know from you is obviously I know that you trained Patrick Swayze um, in martial arts, but right. how involved with you, were you with actual the, the choreography and the, and the filming? First of all, Charlie Paterni was an incredible stunt coordinator, but I came in as a fight choreographer and, and, and an actor. If you really look at the fight scenes, you see me. Now, Charlie, he's not a martial artist. He's not a boxer. He's not a kickboxer. He's not a, 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 you know, so if you really look at it, so you're asking me how much. If you really look at all the fight scenes, you see my technique. Well, this is it. You see me. You see me. You see it, yeah. You can see it. But, but also the way it's shot, the way it's framed, the angles. Were you, did you, were you involved with where they put the camera? Well, no. because again, I knew exactly, but Charlie and I, Charlie was brilliant in camera angles, this man. After I choreographed it all, I showed it to him, he looked, and I said, he was brilliant and said, okay, you're going to do this, and then he would set the camera. And I, I looked at Charlie and I said, okay. So we worked together, okay. but he was good in putting camera angles together. And I mean, I made suggestions, but he already knew. He knew where I was going with this and so forth. But I have to admit, Charlie Petroni was brilliant. Yeah. He was brilliant, man. And he was one of my mentors. You know, I have to admit, yeah. but well, if you really look at the fight scenes, I don't have to tell you who choreographed. Now, Patrick Sage and I, you know, we actually, um, I trained him personally, you know, uh, yeah. back to back, you know. And uh, I went to his house and we trained, I think uh, six weeks into the movie. It's so brilliantly done. Um, and you can always see the techniques. And it's things like that. When you see a punch thrown, but you see the whole of the punch and it still lands, it's perfectly framed. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You see all of it. And that's what's well, so good about this film and what makes it better than anything else of its time. I have to admit, Charlie, when it came to, you know, that kind of brawling, Charlie was brilliant. And, and you know when it came down to it, Charlie and I, we you know we really we bond together and stuff. And he's like I said, he's one of my mentors in in the business, early business, and we worked together well. And he you know he had, you can see more, when it came to the arts. I mean you you can see uh, exactly my my technique and, and where I'm going with it. You can see yeah. uh, everything that I trained with, but. Charlie, you know, Charlie and I, I give Charlie a lot of credit, man, because again, I can't say I did this by myself. Charlie, you know, like this here, I choreographed. Oh, you can see, this is all martial arts, was yeah. Marshall T. You Marshall know, he was already, he was already a, a black belt in a different system. Yeah, it's really good choreography, proper technique, but you always see the techniques. That's what's great about it. I mean, yeah, in the 80s, it was a different style. That, that yeah. The whole shaky cam thing hadn't started, which I absolutely detest. But yeah. Well, you know what? In most of the movies, everybody knows when they see fight scene, they say, oh, I saw you. Uh, and, and yet they know that my style of... of uh, of that type of you know that type of fighting and they see my technique and they so forth so and i don't even have to tell them i was you know i was a uh stunt coordinator or a fight choreographer they they already know but i have to i have to say that charlie you know charlie and i really worked brilliantly uh, uh back to back he was incredible uh stunt coordinator to me it's one of the greatest american fight movies ever made roadhouse okay. is brilliant thank you thank you yeah Thank you. And I mean, I, like I said, I won't take all the credit for it, but because uh, uh, Charlie Paterni was a, stu a brilliant stunt coordinator on it. And uh, he brought me in. He brought me in, you know, for this type of uh, fighting. The, the art of the fight scene is, yes, the choreography has got to be great, but the choreography doesn't mean squat if it's not shot correctly because you're not going to see it, right? 
That's so right. It's the, two, it's the two things working together. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I mean, I, you know, between, I mean, I have to admit that we both brilliantly uh, put it together and uh, he was excellent when it comes to camera angles and so forth and incredible stunt coordinator. But, uh, and what about Patrick Swayze, man? I mean, so did he have any martial arts training before he came to you? You know what? He's, he's definitely an incredible dancer. And yeah. uh, his mother had a dance studio. My also. wife will tell you that much. Yes, she loves yes. <laughs> yes, but uh, but at the same time, you know, I would uh, go every day to his house, and we would, uh, you know, he was getting so frustrated because I would choreograph something, and and he kept on thinking, "What's wrong with me? I'm a dancer. I can do this," and he couldn't find the rhythm of the move. Mm. And one day, I thought, okay, and I went to, so I I went home thinking. How can I get him to get more relaxed? And because he's a dancer, he should be able to have this rhythm with no problem. So what I did is I got some music and I started putting some technique together to music. Okay. And then I went the next day. I went to his house and uh, I said, Patrick, listen, watch this. So I put on some music and I started doing technique to music. Hey. Eh? And I kind of did kind of a Hong Kong style there. One and two and three and four and five and six. So that he was already used to from the dance choreography. So I knew that he would catch on. So then I got the music going. And then I started- Like saying, uh, oh. the way Jackie Chan does it in Wheels on Meals. <laughs> you can, has the music on in his head. There you go. <laughs> and, and, and so once I got that out of uh, Patrick, on set, he had to have music. So he can, so he would, you know, and he would felt so comfortable. And then from that point on, it was a party. Was yeah. it a tough shoot for him with all those fights, all the action sequences? Did he enjoy it? Uh, it he, he loved it because he realized, because once he got it, he got it. Yeah. Once he got it, that was it. That was all he needed just to break loose and have the rhythm of, in other words, he had to get away from himself. You know, when you're in your head with stuff, I should be able to do this. I'm a dancer. This. Once I got him out of that, he was perfect. You were the trainer for John Cusack, were you, for many years? Yes, I trained him for about 29 years. Incredible boxer, incredible martial artist, incredible kickboxer. Yeah. He's actually the real deal as well. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, he's oh, the great. real deal. Always trained with you or was training in martial arts before he met you? Um... Actually, Don, I mean, Don Wilson, the dragon, started yeah. to train him and then pass him over to me. Okay. How many days to shoot this? One, one night or two? Actually, we did that in one day. Yeah, okay. And the reason, and the reason why? Because he knew that he can actually, this is the one that people talk about between this one and Jackie Chan, because I mean, but at least he had, he, at least he didn't hit me in the face. I mean, he the picture fight me in the good face. Side, but, that's the one. But, but no, but everyone, everything from the neck down, man, this one, I mean, he hit me so hard <laughs> that, uh, that my legs went from under me, you know? That's how hard he kicked me. Well, he's tall as well, and you, you're sh shorter than him, so well, well, his yeah. side kick to look good. He, he can't kick too low anyway, so I think he's close to hitting you in the neck, isn't he? Yeah, that's right. That's right. And I told him to bring it down a little bit, but he hit me so hard eh, that my feet went from under me. My head hit my head hit the ground uh, oh. because that's all hard. I mean, he's 6'4", he's you know? He hit you harder than Jackie then. Oh, I mean, well, you know what? He knew he could. Yeah. He knew he knew that he can actually really, he wanted it real. Just, uh, just like Jackie Chan. And I said, yeah. and when he hit, when he stabbed me with that pin, Man, he had, I mean, there was blood coming out of my neck. That's how hard he hit me. He's been mean to the sensei there. Well, no, <laughs> well, he's been true to me because okay. I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have had it any other way. Sensei Benny, thank you very much for yeah. uh, giving me some of your time. I have to tell you that I have watched those two fights, Wheels on Meals and Dragons Forever, over and over and over again. They are two of the, the best fight scenes ever put down on film. I want to thank you for that, Sensei Benny, for inspiring me and many others across the world. 
<laughs> we love that fight, man. One of the best, one of the best to ever do it. Thank you so I much. I appreciate that. Thank you.